So today again, I was running outside and I noticed uh, that my wheels uh, were getting, uh, were not running straight. They were flexing in this way, which they're not supposed to. And sure enough, I thought uh, it would be the bearing and it is the bearing. I think this entire bearing that goes in there is shot. Um, let's look at the front side also. Uh, that is about to go also. Anyway, let's see, I'll open it up completely. So if you look closely, you can actually see the bearings in there. Um, yeah, so definitely damaged there. That's what came out. <laughs> I will uh, look at the front one too. I'll try popping out that front one too and see what the condition of that is. Yep, seems like this one's falling apart too. As I was pushing it out from the back, uh, you can kind of see that, oh yeah, it's just, yeah, there we go. It just fell apart right there. Oh jeez. Yep, this one's gone too. Seems like the other side is done too. Like if I pull this out, I'm fairly certain. That padding is completely done. And let's see if I pull this back. Yep, the other side bearing is done also. Yeah, jeez. So this is what I get for running my horse in a field, soccer field full of grass, mud, um, muddy puddles and rain. Um, this is what effect it has on the ball bearings uh, for the <laughs> rear, uh, for the rear suspension or, or the rear tires. It's almost eaten away at that. I wonder what the condition for my drive shafts is then if it's done so much damage to this. It's all glittery and sparkly because of all the shaving, metal shaving, and you can see all the ball bearings too. All right, I need to figure something out. I hadn't applied, um, uh, what do you call the aluminum complex grease. I'll try that this time around on these parts. So I'll be attempting two things. Um, to see if I can um, uh, <laughs> alleviate this problem uh, in in my um, rear uh, axles and, and hub carriers. Um, they are, I bought aluminum ones, thought they'd last a little longer, but I see that the problem is not uh, the carrier itself, but I need to find a solution for, um, oof, now that's, that's sharp. Um, yeah, I have to be careful of that. That is razor sharp. Um, that uh, I need to figure out a way of making my bearings last longer. And um, one is um, I bought these boots. Um, they come for, um, it's a rebuild kit for the Revo Max uh, CVDs, seal uh, constant velocity drive shafts. Um, and it comes with um, four rubber boots. Um, I need to figure out where they go. Probably one end goes like that, which then goes in the, there so let's see if i can do this one-handed yeah like this and then the other end probably goes over so when this slides up maybe over that part kind of makes sense um and then the other thing i want to do i have an old bearing um and i know on youtube you can find a whole bunch of uh, videos on getting this seal removed the blue seal around it degreasing um uh, the wheel and then adding um, new grease in it. Uh, people do it to put in um, oil that is allows your, your bearing to spin faster. I'm going to see if I can pack it in with um, aluminum complex grease so that it keeps water out. Um, yep, let's see how that goes. So I saw online that um, you could uh, clean out your bearings, take off the seal, seal around it, um, and then... Um, and then put it in um, a degreaser. I got kerosene um, that I use to clean my motorcycle chain. So I'm just using that in a small box. I had an old bearing lying around. So I was, I wanted to practice on that first on how to remove the seals around it. So I did that. Now I'm going to do that for the uh, front, um, front axle and then pack it with, um, <clears throat> with an aluminum complex uh, grease. Uh, aluminum complex grease supposed to be really good. I'll pack it in there. Uh, first clean it out 
uh, air compress it out so it's dried completely um, and then um, and then pack it with with grease with the aluminum complex grease and then put the rings back on or the or the uh, whatever these things are sealant uh, covers for the for the bearings back on one thing to note is that um, the grease inside the black ones uh, I can kind of see and it was harder to get the black ones off uh, rather than the blue ones so maybe if you buy the black ones those seal better not sure uh, and, and keep the grease in um, but anyway yeah I'm going to take that out clean degrease it them completely air compress it uh, and then pack it with the aluminum complex grease and then put them back on and hopefully they last longer uh, and not get turned into <laughs> this okay so just for the test run uh, practice, I had an old bearing lying around that I unsealed, cleaned it with kerosene as my degreaser, and then packed it with uh, the uh, um, aluminum complex grease, which is supposed to be really, really good for keeping water and dirt out, water out basically. Um, and then I'm going to reseal it uh, and see if I'm getting better at this. If I do, then I'll move on to the actual ones that are going to be used for for the bearings inside. Or maybe I'll reuse this one and see how this performs. Yeah, I'll see. So this is the end product. Should I reuse it? Feels very smooth. Feels like there's no problem. Feels like almost brand new. Should I reuse it? So just wanted to quickly document what uh, the original Traxxas ones look like. So I noticed that I got some aftermarket ones from Hobby Hobby. Uh, they were cheaper, but their bearing design is different. So I opened these up. These are the original Traxxas. Um, they're very much similar to this bigger one by Traxxas. So um, you see how on the back side there are no bearings or you can't see the bearings. There's like a steel cover. Um, the other ones, the ones that I got from Hobby Hobby look similar. So Traxxas, you can see bearings on both sides. Um, the Hobby Hobby ones, you cannot, and I'll show them later right now. They're being um, degreased in kerosene. So I'm just gonna fill this up with aluminum complex um, grease and uh, put the covers back on. So I uh, greased it uh, with that aluminum complex grease. Um, feels very smooth. Uh, but obviously not as loose. It's all uh, flowing very smoothly. And I'm hoping this will keep this from rusting and turning into this. So fingers crossed. And I'll do the same for the other ones that I just got. Okay. After all the wonkiness the other day, tires were doing this. Um, you know, the basically what had happened was this to the um rear uh axles axle carriers um and and these are all the bearings that were in there four bearings two on each um and then in the middle we have the spacers that were provided by the mip kit for the uh drive shafts steel drive shafts that i bought that i bought from mip um mip makes these these really strong but at the same time um they require these spacers that are only available from them i had to wait um because i was missing these these go these one millimeter ones oh, I can, maybe it's glued in here oh, something is here i just noticed maybe it is that one i oh it is coming off is it this because these i couldn't find anywhere but it seems like there is something here i don't know if it's camera catching on the camera that is coming off that I hadn't been able to find for a while. Anyway, so I'll see, maybe it is that, that is just heated up and stuck on there. Anyway, I was waiting for these one millimeter ones, the two millimeters I had in pretty bad shape. I'm gonna store those, those as spares, put these new ones in. There's spacers between the two washers that go inside the um, uh, axle carriers and then Last thing I want to do is try these guys on, uh, but them, um, Traxxas makes them, and what I can do is something like this, 
Um, so how does this work? This would go, um, I think this way uh, over, over the spline shaft. Let's see if I can squeeze it through. Yeah, it looks like I can. And then on top like that. And then this would just be flush against this since this is pulled through and held. Yeah, I'll need to maybe move this back a little there. And then, yeah, this is pulled through and held in place by the wheel nut uh, or the hub nut, whatever. Yeah, this is called the hub nut. Yeah, and let's see if this, I don't know if it's gonna spin around at speeds. <laughs> it's gonna melt away, shear this away. That, that aluminum lip over there is fairly sharp because it's been created by metal on metal. Um, but let's see, I'm gonna try and see if I can um, use these guys to, uh, to somehow keep this area lubricated because when I'm running this in mud and, uh, and rain and in a grass field, these really, really take a beating. And I also uh, opened these bearings up. Three of them are brand new, one of them is an old one open them all of uh, all of them up um degrease them using uh alcohol um no using um kerosene uh air sprayed them compressed air sprayed them to dry it out completely and then packed it with this stuff uh it is uh, aluminum complex i've said that enough but enough times but here not sure if you guys can get a good shot so anyway, that's all the red stuff that you see everywhere. It's very hard to clean up, uh, but uh, shop towels help. And uh, yeah, so assemble all of this and then I'll take this out tomorrow, um, which is going to be some crazy weather. Um, I just just looking and Canada being Canada. Um, if I check the hourly um, tomorrow, if I go at 8 a.m., it's going to be minus 5 with rain and, I don't know, icicles falling from the sky. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So let's see how that goes tomorrow morning. So quickly wanted to show the boot that I'm going to be using. Um, this is, I'm going to fill that part with the... Uh, with grease, same grease, um, the one that I've been using, the aluminum complex, and see if I can push it up right up against the edge uh, and see if it helps in any way possible and doesn't, um, you know, this is what I'm trying to avoid. So let's see, all of this work is just to avoid this again. Let's see if it is avoidable or not. I packed it, now I'm gonna slide it over and uh, hopefully it stays in place. That's what it looks like, <laughs> filled with grease and spinning in there. Ah, it's going to get flung out. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Got the boot on. That boot is filled with this guy. Aluminum complex. I showed it enough times, but that boot is filled with it. Hopefully that stays in place when this thing is spinning at high RPMs. Same thing on the other side. That boot is filled. Uh, let's hope this works.